What's going on everybody? Al here, back with another Street Sense. I'm with... Mindy. Mindy from... In New York. In New York. Hello guys. Thank you so much Mindy. Thank you. For having us here. Of course. And for being on Street Sense. Yes, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to have you. And I know your nose has been on a lot of fragrances. Yes. You smell a lot of fragrances. I have one you didn't smell, right? Yeah. Brand new to me. Brand new to you. I want you to give us your honest opinion on okay. what you think. Right? It's from the house of Terry Mugo. You know Terry Mugo, obviously. Of course. I'm sure you own some fragrances. Yeah. And okay. apparel, of course. <laughs> All right. So beautiful house. This one is called Amen. The taste of fragrance. Okay. Now Terry Mugo came out with this idea. Let me incorporate incorporate uh, food like chili and this fragrance. Okay. And incorporate it like chili. Okay. So it's kind of like Amen with chili. Do you like chili? I do. You do? Okay, so this might be up your alley. Okay. So I'm gonna have you smell this and let us know what you think. Honestly, on All the right. streets of New York, actually, one of the streets of New York, but we're right in front of Mid New York. Okay. Which is an amazing store. If you guys, if you guys haven't been here, go to their website, check their website out, because they're amazing. I, I gotta say, the store is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. The, the way you treat us and the hospitality here is just off the charts. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm going to spray this on the car. Yep. Full blast. Let me know what you what you get out of that. What do you think of? So. It's actually quite green to me. Okay. The way it opens. It is spicy. It's not what I expected. Like red hot. Okay. Thing, almost. You have the hotness for sure. But it's not like hot pecans or... Um, Piment Poulon from Lark Sun, where it's like, um, this is actually closer to Pot Pecan, I think. Okay. With the green and woody. But Piment Poulon to me was more red because maybe the cocoa and the base that supports it and uh -huh. the top gun. Like this, this is very wearable, surprisingly light, um, woody, but spicy, so I think it would give you a really beautiful um, impression for when people walk by. It would naturally attract um, both men and women okay. to say, what are you wearing? Because it's something that is very recognizable, yeah, but at the same time, you can't wrap your finger on it. Yeah. It has almost like a citrusness to it, Okay. but it's not, you know, but it's um, it's a really cool set. I would wear it. You would wear it? Yeah, I would. Okay. It's like, I think it's a good day into afternoon okay. set. And it's a good set to wear without being, you know, dramatic, <laughs> despite of the chili. Does that make sense? Oh, that's... Uh, you, yeah, you're honestly blowing me away with this. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's, I It's like an it. amazing description. You like it? I like it. I just wanted to say a couple of things off. It opens up with a chili... They, they put chili paste in here, from, from what I've read. Yep. There's chili paste in here, and it has, later on, some coffee, some patchouli. That's I can, later on. I can smell the patchouli in okay. the base. And I think that's what supports it. Otherwise, it would be um, almost too too transparent. Okay. And I think it gives it body. Yes. And you kind of don't get the coffee. I don't know if you get the coffee. I don't really. It's supposed to be I think it's just there. a little bridge. Yeah. Very very subtle. I but I just that. had some coffee, so my my <laughs> sinus and my palate may be a little skewed. Yeah. But the chili case, I smell a little more almost um, white peppercorn. Okay. Versus like a red roasted chili. Awesome. Awesome. And, so, you, and you'll wear this? I will wear it. I, mean, I, I wear lots of spicy hats and I think this is very easy. Because this is supposed to be for men, but that doesn't uh, throw it out of the box. No, I think it's very unisex. Yeah, okay. Both men and women. I don't, I don't listen to what's for men and what's for women. I know a lot of women that wear men's fragrances yeah. and vice versa. Especially this. I think it's like a very easy um, profile for some, you know, the tomboy androgyny thing. So this set would be really good for it. Awesome, awesome. I want to ask you, one out of ten, what would you give? Amen, a taste, the, the taste of fragrance. Seven. Seven. Is that a good high ranking for you, seven? Yeah. I mean, I curate from New York, so we, we're true. dealing with ultra niche scents yeah. with amazing ingredients. That, yeah, that is so, true. So my, you know, my scale is very skewed, so, but seven is good. It's very positive. What would be a ten for you? 
Like, can you name? Tell well, me, for this in this level. No, I mean, what what fragrance? Like, can you name a fragrance that's a ten new standards? Oh, that's tough. That, that's gonna be tough. There are a few. Okay. There are a few that I. I know a lot of people love. out there. A lot of people out there would love to know yeah. what Mindy thinks. It's, what Mindy considers a ten. So it's a little old fashioned, but I love Moage Gold okay. for men and women. I'm but Moage I wear gold. women. Okay. It's a little old fashioned, but I love no, it. No, I respect that. And I think that's a ten. And I'm Moage Gold for men and women. Yeah, well, they're both good, they're different, but I wear the one for women. The okay. one for men, it's different, but it has a lot more wood to it. Okay. They're both spectacular. And Min Carrie is on watch, I know that. Yeah. Okay. I love, um, I love Rose Mood Rose from okay. Killian. Okay. Um, I love Sycamore, Chanel Chanel Limited. Sycamore, yes. It's love. a better beer fragrance. Yeah. Okay. That's one of my favorites. Really? Yep. Okay. Um, there are so many. Um, Keiko has some amazing bespoke. Okay. Um, that are coming to New York, and the rose from there is one of my favorites. So I think it's a really spectacular scent, especially when you wear it on the skin. For uh, women, I think it's definitely okay. more for women, but definitely try it on the skin. It's I think that's a ten. Um, there are so many, but well, I mean the list. Is yeah, and it's personal. Right? This is personal. Of course, you it's, your, to, like, it's your opinion, your opinion, my opinion, and how it makes you feel. Exactly. The reason why I had you to know this is because I know you, 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 your nose has been on so many niche fragrances. Yeah. I said, let me throw something different at me. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Maybe you haven't smelled. It's wonderful. And I, I love the fact that we got to talk about other fragrances that what you think give tens. Like, I never would have thought Sycamore would be a 10 for you. I, I love it on both men and women, and it wears yeah, it's incredibly it's, it's differently. I have a decant of it, and I, I love that fragrance also. Yeah. From the higher end of Chanel. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. And I'm also a huge fan of Armoise also. I love Armoise. I actually have uh, some samples of Epic Fan. I, I love. Epic fan. It's like, Epic to me is close to a type, like 9. Okay. And it's to me like a cashmere and a modern interpretation of Oud. Okay. Zerhov has a really awesome Oud too yes. that I head over heels with for men. Not for me, Probably. but on my men. It's like the scents are so unique. Montel also, surprisingly, have like some really awesome scents. Well, I like Red Oud by Montel. I Red that. Oud yeah. is amazing. Yes. Dark Oud, Dark Oud, I love. And um, Black Oud, I love. <laughs> that's um, that's one of the scents that I wear all the time when I go out. Oh, you wear, you wear, you wear Black Oud? Yep. Okay, all right, And awesome. people stop me on the street. They and ask you what you're wearing. Yeah. I'm learning a lot. I mean, that's, I, 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 I like to know what people, you know, what are 10 for people, like yourself, especially for you. Because, like I said, you're you're with fragrances 24 seven. I much. know 24 seven. It's so insane. You're, you're very opinion, lucky. A lot of people, I'm sure, are gonna be like writing down every single what, what you're saying right now. A lot of people are gonna be writing down and checking out what, yeah. what you're giving a ten. Well, we're always open for suggestions, so you can always write us on Facebook or on our forum. Okay. And let us know if you ever have questions. And I think it's really important to try a new skin. So, like, Definitely, that's one yeah. thing that I have to say is. When you are curious about a scent, try a new skin before you buy. Definitely. Buy a decant if you need to, and or just go to a shop and sample it because it's so different than you know on men and women. It's true. And, you know, Your chemistry, yeah. Exactly. Definitely, definitely. I totally agree. And then sometimes after two hours, you get like nauseous from, from the nose, and hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> even when it does, it's, you know it's a terrible thing. We can avoid it. Spoken like a champion right here. <laughs> Mindy from Min New York, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All, awesome episode of Street Sense. You broke down you, you broke down so many different things for me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy from Min New York, she's amazing. She gave us a, what what she told us what's a 10 for her. And she named some amazing fragrances. A sycamore and a gold band. I, I gotta definitely get my nose back on gold band. I, I smelled it a couple times, but I got it now. I'm gonna re revisit it after what you told me. Yeah. So there you have it. Another episode of Street Sense wrapped up at Mid New York with Mindy. If you guys have any questions? Send me a message. Rate, comment, subscribe. Do you have anything else? Thanks. That's it. That's it for now. Come visit us if you're in New York. Thank Come you. visit Mind definitely. See you guys later. Ciao.